Welcome to the Crazy Hat Chemist. Today we're doing the 13th video, lucky number 13, on nuclear chemistry. So let's get moving. Bam! So, look at this beautiful graphic here. I love this graphic. Z equals N. Do you see that black thin line there? Okay, Z is the atomic number. N is the number of neutrons. Okay, and then this deals with stable and unstable isotopes here. Okay, so... Right here at this central section here is a band of stability, okay? Notice that that band of stability for the lower N, uh, uh, sorry, lower Z, so less than 20, it's when Z equals N when it's less than 20, okay? But then it starts moving up to greater number of neutrons with the band of stability, which is that black line that's going right through the middle there. Okay, now, as, as you see, this is uh, atomic number 82, which is Z of 82, and that is lead. And so, that's just kind of a reference here for you. This one here is, if it's on this side of that band of stability, then there are too few neutrons, and you end up with electron capture or positron emissions. Okay, if it's on the other side of that band of stability, the black line that's in the middle, you have too many neutrons and you have beta emissions. So that's when you have the Z is equal to two times the number of neutrons. So you have too many neutrons. And then right there in the middle, as you get higher up in this graphic, you have too much mass. And when you have too much mass, you have alpha emissions. So hopefully that makes sense for you. Okay, I'm going to show you another graphic here. It's very similar to this one, but some of them are delineated out with the color. Okay, um, so this graphic here, if you just look at this graphic, you have the type of decay. You do have the N equals the Z, that is that black line, and then you have the black squiggly line that's in the middle. That's that band of stability. But you should see the orange are positron emissions. That's to the right or down of that line of stability. And then to the left of that are beta emissions. Alpha particle emissions are in the yellow, and that's generally at the top of this. You have fission and proton emission as well, okay, and neutron emission. So this gives you an idea of the stability and instability of isotopes, okay? There's that band of stability in the middle, and remember at the N equals Z is less than 20 is right on that line. That's why it's really close there. Okay? Hopefully you enjoyed that. Somewhere, somewhere at this time, it must be a holiday. So give me a thumbs up if you like that video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and jingle on, baby.